What's up everybody? It's first day of March, the day that I'm shooting video. So just like every month I write down um, certain monthly goals that I want to achieve for that month. And one of the goals that I have for every month includes new technologies to learn and I usually have a list of things I want to learn. So I decided to share this list with you and let me know what you guys think. So first up we have Rust. Rust is a statically typed language and it allows uh, for like efficient usage of memory and that's really important when you have an application that's very like data heavy and your like cloud, cloud provider cost is going up. And so that's the reason that um, developers love this language. And also I've checked on Stack Overflow trends and for the past four years, um, it's been like the usage of REST has been um, going up. So it's very popular right now. And also one of the use cases, it has of course many use cases, but one of them is that you can use them uh, for smart contracts, kind of like as an alternative to Solidity. So next up I have Relay, which is a GraphQL client. Currently I use Apollo as my GraphQL client. And uh, when I was reading comparisons between Relay and Apollo, uh, many people were saying that Apollo is more flexible versus Relay is like more structured and complicated. So just because it's complicated, I guess it is a better use case to have it for like more, com more complex projects where you are running like a lot of queries and like nested queries. Um, so I'll check it out. It's also developed by Facebook, I think in 2017. Um, so yeah, next Kubernetes. It, Kubernetes is like, Basically, it takes what Docker does, has to offer, and takes it to the next level. So Docker, if you use Docker as your container, Kubernetes is kind of like a container orchestration tool. It's used for monitoring, logging, health checks, um, etc. So the next one is Storybook. This is more like front-end related. It's used to create component library. Um, and it's also used to like test all this UI components separately from like extract them from business logic. It is very convenient for me to have component libraries since I work on multiple different projects. So I'll be able to like easily share this UI components among the projects. So I don't have to um, either like copy the code and paste it or like build it from scratch. Um, next one, this is not really a technology. I just wanted to um, make it as a goal that um, I do lead code daily. I used to keep um, track of it really good in January. Um, and then for February, for some reason, I focused more on just building components in, and using like JavaScript for solving all those like data structures and algorithms. So um, I do want to do um, lead code i think they have this like um two week um courses for like data structures and algorithms so as for like lead code i do use um java as my like primary language um so i'll try to get back on that and also animations i did have like when i initially learned css some knowledge of how to do animations but i guess it's i haven't done it um ever since actually like on my projects and it's convenient especially in like building um, beautiful um, landing pages that catches the eye. Animations are important. And I guess also for user experience on cases when, for example, user submits something or like checks off a box, it's kind of like good to have this um, animation as like a motivation. Um, so yeah, that's all. Let me know what you're planning to learn or if you're also learning any of these technologies. Thank you, hope this was helpful.